Landing your dream job in UI UX design is hard enough, but acing the interview is a whole other challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you the ultimate guide to crushing your design interview and landing the job of your dreams. Tip number one, research. When you're invited to an interview, the first thing you need to do is research. It might sound obvious, but many candidates underestimate the importance of research. Get to know the company you are interviewing with. Understand the UI UX design position you are applying for and find out what kind of projects they have been working on. Understanding this information will help you better prepare and tailor your answers to their needs. Tip number two, prepare your portfolio. You should come to your interview equipped with a portfolio of UI UX design work that you've completed. Your interviewer will be looking to get an insight into your skills and capabilities as a UI UX designer. So make sure your best projects are presented in the portfolio. Here is what you should keep in mind that I see many people do wrong. Make sure to take a close look at the job requirements and be sure your portfolio contains projects that directly reflect those needs. For instance, if the job requires you to be capable of creating micro-interactions, include a few micro-interactions you created in your portfolio. Tip number three, prepare to answer common interview questions. UI UX design interviews usually have two or more rounds. The first one is usually a general question round. This is your chance to show off and make a great impression. UI UX designers are often asked questions like, what inspired you to pursue UI UX design? Tell me a bit about yourself. And please tell me about some of your strengths and weaknesses. Make sure you have your answers to these questions prepared and rehearsed before the interview. I know you think these questions are easy and don't require preparation. But believe me, when you go to the interview room, you get nervous and could start rambling. So why not just prepare the answers to these simple questions beforehand to make sure you don't freeze up. The second round is usually more technical, with questions specific to UI UX design such as how would you go about designing a complex UI for a mobile app? Or when tackling a UI UX design problem, what process do you follow? They may also ask some situational questions like, tell me about a time when you received negative feedback in regard to one of your designs. How did you respond? Or describe a situation when you disagreed with someone at work. What did you do? Now let me give you a tip on answering questions about your previous projects. Don't explain every single detail about a project you previously worked on. Keep your answers concise and focus on the challenges you faced, the solutions you came up with, and the impact your involvement had. The interviewer doesn't care about the details of a project you worked on, like how long did it take to complete a task or how many people were working on it. They are just interested in you and how you performed as a designer on other projects. In the third round, they usually give you a design challenge to solve. There are two types of challenges you may be given, a whiteboard challenge or a take-home challenge. So what's the difference between the two? In a whiteboard challenge, you will be given a design challenge to solve live in front of the interviewer. This way, the interviewer can understand your thinking process and how you approach different problems. It could usually take 30 minutes to an hour. In a take-home design challenge, you will usually get a design problem to solve in a certain amount of time, usually two to three days. The purpose of this challenge is to see how you craft UI UX solutions on your own outside of the office. No matter what type of challenge you are given, always remember to first clarify the problem you are given to solve and then come up with the solution. I've seen many good junior designers who do not perform well in the third round, and that's mostly because they do not understand the problem in the first place. To practice for the design challenge round, you can use a website called sharpen.design. It's an awesome tool that provides you with design challenges to solve. If you're nervous about the questions you will be asked in an interview, don't worry. Google has a product called Interview Warmup that can help you prepare for your job interview. It's totally free to use, and it will ask you different types of questions from design background questions to technical questions. So make sure to check it out. 
you won't be disappointed. The next tip is ask questions. Many people think that interviews are only about providing answers. However, they don't realize that interviews are also a great opportunity to learn more about the company and the position you're applying for. You can ask about the type of projects you should work on, the company's vision, or even how you can grow as a designer inside that company. The other thing many people are afraid to talk about is salary. Don't worry, it's totally okay to ask about the salary range or benefits. You are gonna add value to the company and it's your right to know how they plan on compensating you. If you're just starting out your design journey and wanna become a UI UX designer, make sure to check out this video on the screen. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to not miss the upcoming tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.